So, so Jim, one of the issues and one of the concerns that people want to know to preserve historical facts is how did Jim Harris, one of the founding fathers of FUE, my personal mentor, how did you get started in all of this in 2002? Well, I have to tell you, it was, it was the Chicago meeting, and Bill Rassman was presenting the work that he did with uh, Bob Bernstein about FUE using a sharp punch. And as I was sitting there listening to them talking, Bill said we had some issues, you know, it was a sharp punch. We found out we had to limit the depth of dissection, um, but we think you need to go deeper because not everybody was a candidate. And, and it dawned on me, uh, I went back to my, my surgical training and realized that when you have something very critical or delicate, the last thing you want to do is approach it with a sharp instrument. And so my idea was, well, don't use a sharp instrument. Okay. Use something that's, that's blunt or dull. And so that got me thinking that, that possibly we could use a small punch that had no sharp edges. In other words, keep the sharp edges away from the critical structures. And so that, that got my mind thinking. I got back to Denver and uh, contacted my engineer and said, I need to create this punch that has no sharp edges. Uh, the original design had to do with more of a conical shape. Um, and then uh, we adapted that to a manual punch um, design that, that basically took what Bob Bernstein and Bill Rassman did um, and allowed us to get through the skin. And then my blunt punch was what actually separated the follicles from the skin. And from there, it seemed it was a good idea. Uh, it seemed like it was adopted. I became somewhat of a reluctant expert in FUE right. at the time. Uh, and then that led to the development of the motorized version a few years later. So the, the, the inspiration was, was the difficulties that uh, Bill Rassman described. So, so you published a paper in 2005 on your safe system theory. It was first originally a sharp dissection scoring of, of the skin and then you went deeper with the, the blunt punch. Right. And because this was a manual version, it was very difficult to get through the skin with the blunt punch. I had to enter the skin using sharp, but we didn't want to go deep because that could potentially damage the follicles. Uh, so that required a lot of manual effort to get that through How the skin. How long did it actually take you to, from conception, from blueprints, to create uh, the device and the instrument that later came out in 2009? Right. The actual safe device. Right. Well, that was the motorized device. Correct. So the initial manual device, it took about a year in development. Um, I, had to, I had to get the tip right, it had to be able to go through the skin without damaging the follicles. So that initial prototype took about a year. Okay, and so that was a, a sharp a scoring dissecting punch and then the deeper was the, the blunt and that Correct. was manual at that time. People don't know that. They think everything's motorized <laughs> now, right? Well, that, that was the revolution. I think uh, before we came out with the motorized version, um, I don't think very many people wanted to, to perform FUE. It was, it was laborious very intensive and uh, it, very high risk to the follicles, to be honest with you. So in, was it 2009 that you came out with your safe system? The motorized safe system. The motorized system. safe system. Okay. That's correct. And from there it made history and you made everybody do a, a <laughs> lot more graphs with less transection. And well, th that was the point. It was to, to basically take it to the masses. And I, I think one of the things I'm proud about uh, developing the safe system is that I think the concept of, of keeping the sharp edges away from the follicles was adopted by by many of the you know the more current devices the wa and the and the mamba right so these hybrids well you did come out with a hybrid I did. punch too and that was a hex punch which we kind of categorize uh, in with the, the the hybrid so that was an amazing device too could you just give a brief outline how did that occur <laughs> how did you come up with that design i think that story is very interesting well thanks well you know there's two concepts to the to the hex one is the the, the leading edge changed so it was a squared off edge that allowed the punch to get through the skin uh, in a relatively easy manner, but there was a slight funnel on the inside. So it was not an external trumpet design. But the second was I, noted I had damaged the punch and there was a wobble to it. And I was, as I was performing the FUE, I noticed mm -hmm. that the dissection occurred very rapidly. In other words, the, the follicles separated from the skin very easily. So I thought maybe there's, there's something here about a wobble or uh, you know, asymmetric movement that separated the follicle from the skin. Kind of like the mamba kind with the like trevolini, <laughs> just a, a little wobbling effect. So I want to thank the, the reader of our textbook. You just uh, have witnessed one of the better interviews and the better telling of history of FUE.